Hi, Rick Leinecker here. Today I'm going to be talking about mapping processes that are running on a computer to TCPI ports. To do this we're going to be using a built-in utility called netstat. And if you just open up a command prompt and type netstat slash question mark it will show you all the various command line switches you have for your different purposes. Um, it's important to note that I ran this command prompt in administrative mode because some of these switches require you to be in administrative mode before they'll actually work. The first switch that I'm going to use is dash A as you can see right here and that displays all connections and listening ports. The next one, switch I'm going to use is dash N which displays addresses and port numbers in numerical form. I'm going to add the dash O or the O switch displays the owning process ID associated with each connection. And lastly, let's see, I forgot this one. It's up here. I'm going to use the dash B switch uh, displays the executable involved. Okay, let me clear the screen here. Netstat dash A N O B run that and as you can see it pulls up a lot of information so now I have to kind of scroll up and look through this let me just kind of take a look at all the processes that are running hmm some of them look pretty normal it's things you might expect ooh there is one right here called badass program and if you see something like that automatically you gotta be suspicious it's running on port 9876 um, connected to a computer at 192.168.1.103 and based on that information you can actually track down not only this computer that's connecting to it but you can track it down to the computer that's being connected to. Why this is important is because um, rogue programs or rogue programs on your computer might actually be contacting other computers via these TCP IP ports and they might be um, you know, doing things such as sending your uh, critical information out or um, you know, compromising your system in some way. So that's how you do it, that's what it's for, and that's why you do it. 